The most dangerous airplanes. The whole world is afraid of them. Aviation brings death from the skies. Unexpectedly and inevitably, flying fortresses or strategic bombers, or strategists for short, they're the ones in charge of the air. All other aircraft and ground-based missile systems, fighters, and anti-aircraft guns, all this is created mainly to ensure the success of the bombers or to counter enemy bombers. Huge range, high speed, heavy payload, and surgical precision. If even one bomber breaks through to the target, the consequences for the enemy can be dire. In this video, we'll cover five of the best modern bombers, each unique in what field. At the end of the video, as a bonus, we'll tell you how modern technology's been able to turn a frontline fighter bomber into a very formidable force, the takeoff of which leads to the declaration of an air alert in a country larger than France. Watch to the end. It'll be interesting. We'll start our story with the most inconspicuous strategic bomber. This is, of course, the American B-2 Spirit Bomber developed by Northrop Grumman. It made its first flight on July 17, 1989 and joined the U.S. Air Force in 1997. This is an interesting and unusual machine in all respects, the world's first serial strategist stealth and the first serial heavy aircraft with a flying wing scheme. Low stealth is facilitated by the original design of the scheme without keel, fuselage coating of radio-absorbing materials, as well as a special type of engine shielding the jet exhaust. Each aircraft carries up to 27 tons of armament, including bombs and nuclear-tipped missiles. The B-2 can travel 11,105 kilometers or 6,900 miles without refueling. Maximum speed is 1,010 kilometers or 627 miles per hour, First of all, the B-2 is designed to break through dense, deeply echeloned air defenses and deliver conventional or nuclear weapons. However, with a worthy opponent, these planes have not yet met. They were first used during the NATO operation in Yugoslavia and later fought in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya. By the way, an interesting fact, combat flights in the Balkans and the Middle East lasted about 30 to 40 hours. During this time, B-2 pilots somehow had to rest because even elite pilots with flying wings would not endure so much time without sleep. The B-2 did not have a resting place, but there was enough space in the cockpit to fold out a sofa, so they started putting in sofas from Walmart. Taking into account that thanks to this it was possible to multiply the time of the airplane in the air, it turns out that the sofa then became a key piece of equipment. In total, the U.S. Air Force today has 19 bombers of this type although they were going to buy more than a hundred. The Pentagon currently has no plans to resume production of Invisible. The fact is that the airplane was very expensive. In addition to being the most invisible, it's also the most expensive in the history of world aviation. For the production of 21 units, $44 billion. Therefore, one B-2 Spirit costs $2,095,000,000. Such a figure is breathtaking. But the capabilities of the airplane are amazing. According to the statements of experts from the think tank RAND, a link of three stealth bombers B-2 can stop the Soviet tank division offensive with impunity to destroy in one flight up to 350 units of armored vehicles. According to computer simulations, according to the U.S. military calculations, 32 F-16 fighter bombers would be needed to overcome the Russian air defense system and strike objects deep inside enemy territory but they'll need an escort of 16 F-15 Eagle fighters, a jamming team of four EF-111 Raven electronic warfare aircraft, an air defense suppression team of eight F-4Gs, the so-called Wild Weasels, and 15 KC-135 Stratotanker refuelers to provide fuel for this armada. An equivalent strike can be made by eight F-117 Nighthawk stealth aircraft, supported by two aerial refueling tankers. But especially impressive is the use of the B-2, only two aircraft are needed to perform a similar mission, and the Spirit, thanks to its strategic range, does not need air tankers. A mission that requires 50 to 60 conventional aircraft can be accomplished by just two B-2 Spirit. Savings are obvious. Now about the heaviest strategic bomber. This is the Russian bomber missile carrier Tu-160, according to NATO classification Blackjack. The unofficial name is White Swan, TU-160 is also an absolute world record holder in armament. One White Swan raises in the air 45 tons of bombs and missiles, 
which is more than one and a half times more than the B2 Spirit. The maximum takeoff weight of the TU-160 is 275 tons, which is also significantly more than its competitors. Maximum range without refueling, 13,950 kilometers or 8,670 miles. In addition, the Russian Strategist is the most powerful engine among the aircraft of its class, and it accelerates to 2,200 kilometers or 1,367 miles per hour, which corresponds to Mach 1.84. It's also the fastest bomber. It's a known episode when the TU-160 over the Japanese Sea on the afterburner broke away from two American F-35A fighters. This is understandable because the maximum speed of this fighter is 1,931 kilometers or 1,200 miles per hour. That's Mach 1.6. The baptism of fire of the TU-160 took place in Syria. From November 17th to 20, 2015, White Swan struck with cruise missiles, KH-555, on ISIS facilities, and then more than once used in the Syrian campaign. Now, unfortunately, Russia is actively using these airplanes in the war against Ukraine. At the moment, there are 16 Tu-160s and Tu-160M1s in the Russian Aerospace Forces. As part of the state arms program for 2018 to 2025, it's planned to upgrade them to the M2 version. The aircraft will receive new computing and onboard systems, control facilities, a platform-free inertial navigation system, REB facilities, and a modern weapons control complex. And now on our list of the best bombers, the most former strategic bomber B-52 Stratofortress was adopted in 1955 and will remain the main aircraft of the U.S. long-range bomber aviation until at least 2040. There are 70 units of the B-52 Stratofortress in service. It has a maximum range of 14,162 kilometers or 8,800 miles, speed up to 950 kilometers or 590 miles per hour. The aircraft carries 31.5 tons of various armaments, including precision bombs and missiles. B-52s were first used during the Vietnam War. During the Linebacker II operation in 1972, these bombers made 729 combat sorties in 12 days and dropped more than 15,000 tons of bombs on Hanoi, Haiphong, and other targets in the north of the country. 15 B-52s were shot down by anti-aircraft missiles. In total, the U.S. Air Force lost 30 bombers during the war. B-52s operated in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Yugoslavia and bombed ISIS facilities in Syria. At the end of June 2019, the B-52 took part in tests of the new AGM-183A tactical hypersonic missile. And now let's tell you about the most versatile strategic bomber. Tu-22M3 supersonic bombers are considered the universal soldiers of Russia's long-range aviation. Designed to perform combat missions on land and sea theaters of war, can destroy moving and stationary single and area targets with missiles and bombs day and night in simple and difficult weather conditions. Speed up to 2,200 kilometers or 1,367 miles per hour. Range 6,800 kilometers or 4,225 miles. They carry 12 tons of bombs and missiles. There are 61 vehicles of this type in the Russian military space forces. A promising modification of the Tu-22M3M bomber, work on which is still underway, will be able to use the latest air-to-surface missiles KH-32 adopted for service in 2016. Tu-22M3 were baptized in 1988 in Afghanistan and processed enemy positions with three-ton bombs. In Chechnya, they were used to strike at militant concentrations and also dropped flare bombs on Grozny which was necessary for the use of precision weapons from Su-24 frontline bombers. During the five-day war in South Ossetia, Tu-22M3 struck Georgian Army ammunition depots and bombed airfields. Since November 17, 2015, the bombers have been participating in the military operation in Syria, where they've been accurately placing free-fall bombs on terrorist targets thanks to the aircraft targeting and navigation system SVP-2422 Gefest. Finally, our top five best strategic bombers and the leader in the category of the most numerous Chinese jet bomber, Xi'an H-6, completes our top five. It's a licensed copy of the Soviet Tu-16, which made its first flight back in 1952. China has 170 airplanes of this type and various variants, the maximum figure among classmates. Depending on the modification, carries up to nine tons of bombs, including thermonuclear bombs, 
air-to-surface and air-to-ship cruise missiles. The latest modification of the Xi'an H6K adopted for service in 2011, updated engines, avionics, air intakes, and cockpit. The maximum range is 8,100 kilometers or 5,033 miles. The combat load on the H6K was increased to 12 tons. The new CJ-10A cruise missiles have a speed of up to 1,000 kilometers per hour and hit targets at a distance of up to 2,500 kilometers from the launch point. Thus, China can strike any facility on the Korean Peninsula. The bombers deployed in the military district of Gangshu can attack targets on the American island of Guam. At the end of our video, the promised bonus, a frontline fighter bomber, the takeoff of which leads to the announcement of an alarm in an entire country. We're talking about the Russian Su-34 airplane. It's a multifunctional front supersonic fighter bomber designed to strike enemy targets in operational and tactical depth with a concentration of main efforts at a distance of 150 to 600 kilometers from the line of contact. But on September 4th, 2023, from this aircraft was launched the world's first mass-produced hypersonic missile, Kinzhal, which develops a speed of Mach 10 and is capable of hitting highly protected targets, including those designed for a nuclear strike. Previously, only MiG-31 interceptor fighters were used to launch dagger missiles. The use of the Su-34 as a hypersonic missile carrier is very important for Russia. The fact is that the Su-34 is being mass-produced, while the production of the MiG-31 has been discontinued, and eventually they'll reach the end of their service life and will be decommissioned. In addition, the capabilities of the targeting and navigation complex, which is important for launching daggers, are much higher in the Su-34. Coordination of actions to get exactly to the point of launching the dagger is the key point. It's necessary to give the missile an initial launch with the right course and with the parameters set in its flight program. This further increases the accuracy of hitting the target. Ukraine carefully monitors MiG-31K takeoffs from certain locations. For it, this signals the use of the dagger against which it has no defense. After the MiG-31Ks took off, an alert was announced throughout the country. Now we'll have to sound the alarm after the Su-34 takes off. This concludes our story about the top five most impressive strategic bombers of our time. And yet, how nice it would be if these expensive toys were used only for exercise. Do you agree with us? Write about it in your comments below. We'll be grateful for the likes of our video and subscribe to our channel. On it, we regularly release videos about modern weapons.